I'm just besides myself, and, and words cannot express my um, happiness, excitement. How did you find out? <laughs> um, you know, State Department keeping us abreast of what's going on, yes. I think those times she was very, very frightened, and I think that's before the trial. And, she, you know, with no expectation, she was very frightened then. But my daughter, it just broke my heart. You know, the letter that instead of a worry about herself, she's more concerned about us. You know, she said, Mommy, take care of yourself. Don't worry about me. And take care of Michael and Hannah. Treat them like our family. Make sure they're okay. And that's my daughter. She's always thinking about other people. I am so happy. I'm so excited. I have not slept for three days now. You know, I'm just so happy. Can't wait. We're counting minutes, counting hours. <laughs> what, what are your feelings about President Clinton and, and the, how this whole thing unfolded? Oh, we are just so grateful. We are so grateful. I think that um, uh, July 18, uh, Laura called us and gave us a clear message that um, it takes former Vice President Gore, I mean, uh, Clinton, to get them to release. So um, we request the government and also uh, Vice President Gore also make the request. We're not planning anything, you know. I mean, she comes first. I, I think that she probably needs to and I hope the media too, you know, give her some solitude, some time off, you know, with the family and have some quiet time. Talk to too. us about just over the past five months, just kind of as a mother, just, I don't know. I, I don't know how you are even here right now. Yeah. How, how do you cope with something? It's not easy, but um, I have to remind myself every day, every minute, I have to be strong for her. And that's why I keep me going. For this you. day, you just didn't <laughs> waiting for this day coming, yeah, and I'm I'm so glad it's here and <laughs> it's happening.